Today I'm reviewing the Vatic Pro Oni 16 millimeter. I'm reviewing the kind of the flash model. This is the launch edition, but the standard edition should be available on the day this review comes out. I'll go into the stats and then I'll talk more about what I think about this paddle. So the paddle weighs in generally around 8.1 ounces. It has a length of 16.3 inches, a width of 7.7 .7 inches, the grip length is 5.3 inches. The swing weight is 114 and the twist weight is 6.55. The grip circumference, I think, I don't have this written down in my notes for some reason or another, but it should be up on the screen for you. I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 4.25 or something like that. All right, so before I continue, I just want to let you know, I don't have any footage of me playing with this paddle. So I'm going to try and put some stuff in here in between to keep you all entertained. Um, we'll see what happens. So you don't have to look at my face the whole time. All right, so as far as pop and power are concerned, there is a lot of pop off the face of this paddle. I was really surprised by that. The power is there as well for putaways. I'm used to using the standard Vatic uh, Pro Flash 16 millimeter. And that's more of an all-around paddle, where this one leans is certainly a power paddle. And it definitely shows when you're at the kitchen trying to do dinks, when you're resetting, and certainly when you're driving the ball as well. The power is definitely there. So if that's what you're looking for, this is certainly a paddle for you. As far as spin and control go, I found the spin to be pretty much the same as all the other Vatic paddles. Uh, keeping in mind that because this is a new paddle and it's a new surface and hasn't been used, I was getting a little bit more spin than my standard Vatic Pro Flash, but that's only because I'd used the other one for a lot longer. And so the face is going to naturally wear down over time. I was able to, on my serves, get a lot of spin so that the ball was dropping uh, right at the baseline on my serves. I could inconsistently do what I call a drive drop where you hit the ball not necessarily as hard as you can but with some pace and get it to drop into the kitchen. The pop, however, made it very difficult for me to control the paddle at the kitchen when I was in dink rallies or even sometimes when I had to reset the ball as well. Another thing that I noticed is because of the way the paddle is designed, it kind of looks like a spatula. And in between each of the polypropylene ribs, I guess you'll call them, is EVA foam. And to me, the ball felt, it certainly sounded different when it hit certain parts of the paddle. So there was kind of an inconsistent feel on the face of the paddle for me. Sometimes if it hits the foam, it felt really poppy. And other times if it hit directly on the polypropylene that's in there, it felt like a standard Vatic paddle. And then if it kind of hit what I would say hitting both, it just it just felt weird. That's That's all I could say about that. So as far as the weight of the paddle is concerned, mine came in at 8.2 ounces. I think it's advertised at 8.1. Uh, 8.2 ounces or 234 grams, so a little on the heavy side. Um, it feels sluggish at times. It, I, I don't really know how to explain it. I think it more has to do with the balance of the paddle because the paddle that I use regularly, again, which is the Vatic Pro Flash 16 millimeter, I have two overgrips on the handle, and so that tends to pull the balance of the paddle back more towards the handle. So that did at times affect the speed at which I could get my paddle up. A lot of it depended on kind of where I had my paddle. If I had my paddle in the ready position where it should be, uh, I didn't really have that, that much trouble. But a lot of times uh, if, if I was out of posi position, that's when I felt like the paddle was slow. So as far as the grip and appearance go, the thing's got a dragon on it. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a dragon? on their paddle face. It's the standard Vatic colors with the, the orange and the black. The grip feels really good in my hand. 
if I'm going to continue playing with this, I'm going to have to put some over grips on it just because I, I like my grips to be a little bit girthier uh, for, my, for my hand. I don't have massive hands. It's just that that's what I prefer when I play. I think the handle is long enough for two-handed backhands, but it's not going to be as long as, say, a long-handled paddle. So people who hit a lot of two-handed backhands probably would find the, the, the handle on this a little short for that. So as far as the durability and the warranty on this, I played 30 games with this paddle, probably for a total of at least 10 hours. I wouldn't say, I haven't noticed any core crushing like some people have said they've noticed. There's no crackling on the core. I can squeeze all over the face of the paddle and there's no issue. I will say that Vatic has one of the best return policies and warranties. It's 30 days. The return policy is 30 days from the day that you receive the paddle and the return and the warranty is 180 days or six months. So pretty decent uh, warranty there on the paddle. So if you experience any issues with the core of the paddle, they'll replace it within that six month period. So as far as price and value are concerned, if you use the code GENXDINKS when you shop over at vaticpro.com or vaticpb.com, there, there's a URL <laughs> right down here. You'll get uh, $10 off the paddle, which brings the price of the paddle down to, I think $140, I think that's right. Uh, it's supposed to be on sale right now, but I'm not seeing it on their, on their website just yet. Maybe I just got a cached version, but I think that's a great value for a Gen 3 paddle. When you look at some other companies that have these Gen 3 paddles and they're charging over $200 for a paddle. So uh, this, is, this is a good price for a Gen 3 paddle. So who is this paddle for? I'm going to say it's for high intermediate to advanced players. It's for players who basically want to buy power and they're cer they'll certainly get that with this paddle. If you are looking for a paddle that's going to speed up your drives, give you really poppy resets, and help you with putaways, this is going to be the paddle for you. But you're going to need to be able to finesse this paddle at the kitchen in order to deal with that pop off the face so that your, your dinks aren't going sky high and you know the, the team across the net from you is going to be putting those away. So this is the third Vatic paddle that I've owned. I'm still not sure if it's for me. Uh, I prefer more control or all around paddles and the Oni packs more power than I'm used to. I think if, again, if you're looking for a paddle to drive hard and overpower other players, this is the paddle for you as long as you have that soft touch at the kitchen. So there you have it. That's the Vatic Pro Oni 16 millimeter flash version. I'm a what you call a high intermediate player and so I'm like right on the edge of people who can use this paddle. Yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this review. I've got some more coming. Um, I've got one from another one from A11N Sports and two from Cortec, the Alpha and a prototype that they sent me which I'm excited to use as well as some reviews for the new Franklin FS Pro Eco Ball, the one that's supposed to biodegrade within 10 years. I'm going to do some fun experiments with that with that particular ball. So that's it for this review. If you want to support me in any way, support my pickleball habit, you can go over to there's a link in the description and a Harley running behind me. Uh, I won't spend money on Harleys, um, but you can go over to the link, it's a buy me a coffee, and, uh, and hey, buy me a coffee, or a pickleball for that matter, and uh, it'll be greatly appreciated. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.